Let's talk about some really cool ways that you can help with oral fixations. If you're new here, hi, my name is Twyla. I am a mom to three kids aged five and under, and my eldest child is autistic. We have spent a lot of time researching and navigating this journey together here, and I've just started sharing a little bit of that with you guys on YouTube. I've already done a video on brushing teeth as well as helping them through transitions, so make sure to check those out after you watch these videos. Today we are talking about oral fixations. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that is when your autistic child starts to stim through means of chewing on things, biting, that sort of thing. And this is new for my son. Uh, it has cropped up in the form of chewing on his shirts. So he chews holes right through them and it gets super like drenched. <laughs> So once that started happening, I immediately went to work. First thing to know is that stimming is a completely natural thing for autistic children. It is their way of coping with anxiety, stress, excitement, it can curb sensory overload, and sometimes it's just for fun. So in general, you never really want to discourage stimming, you just want to redirect stimming that may be self-harm. And in this case, the chewing shirts is harmful to his clothes. So we went right to work with finding out how to redirect this and give him something else to do. So the very first thing we did was we went out and bought teething necklaces. I got mine off of Amazon. They are just some rubbery chewing necklaces. You can get these in a variety of different shapes, styles. Some of them are like shark teeth. My favorite thing about this is the breakaway clasp for safety reasons. So basically when you put pressure on it, it just comes right off, it just snaps right off. These were an immediate success for us, you guys. They're like 15, 20 bucks on Amazon, Canadian dollars. They have just been going amazingly. My son takes him to school. I literally had to take this away from him to show you guys just now. I have heard that some people's kids chew right through these and they have better luck with the coil shaped ones. So definitely check out all your options. Buy some backup ones maybe, but these have absolutely been a lifesaver for us so far. Now, the main thing I wanted to share with you guys as a method for reducing the amount of oral stimming that they need to do is something that just blew my mind and that is to add more crunchy and chewy foods into their diet so that they are satisfying that oral stim in ways other than chewing on sensory toys and also their clothes and this first occurred to me and I got to see it in action when we took Emmett to the movie theater for the very first time he has an obsession with Mario so we of course had to go and see that and I was so scared it wasn't going to go well but you guys popcorn saved the day he stayed in his seat the entire movie and was quiet the whole time he loved it He's very sensory seeking and he thoroughly enjoyed sitting there eating popcorn because it is crunchy, it is chewy, it makes lots of noise. He absolutely sat through that entire movie. I was shook. So here are some great foods for sensory seekers. The very first one is popcorn, obviously, as I just mentioned. This one is crunchy, it's chewy. Um, I do think popcorn is only recommended for over the age of like three or four. It can be a choking hazard for younger kids, so just keep that in mind. And then, of course, there's my son's second favorite snack, and that is pretzels. Pretzels are a great, crunchy food. A lot of fruit is really good for that, like whole apples, pears, stuff like that. Anything you have to bite into and really work with your teeth. And then of course you have toast with some peanut butter on it. Toast is crunchy. We recently introduced rice cakes. That has been going really well and I don't feel bad about him eating rice cakes. There is crunchy cereals. You can do any kind of crackers. You can do ice chips. Fruit leather is another thing that takes a lot of work. And of course, if you have an older child, gum is obviously a really good one. Gummy bears, starbursts, that sort of thing. All of those foods are going to help you satisfy that craving. And last but not least, we have smoothies and specifically using straws. You can get silicone chewy straws or metal ones, but the point is that using straws and also offering smoothies really puts their mouth muscles to work more. It's harder work and all of that is going to just help you so much with the oral stimming. And that's all there is to it. I really hope that this was insightful for you guys. This little bit of advice just really blew my mind and I had to share it with you guys. I do want to make 
more videos surrounding parenting autistic kids. Uh, I've only got three of them now, but I really, there's so many things that I wanna touch on. I think I will be exploring either my son's evening routine or morning routine next, so let me know which one of those you guys wanna see first in the comment section below, and I will see all of you guys in the next video. Thanks so much, bye. Oh, 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 oh,